I'm Bonnie Saratori with Spiritual Acceleration. I want to share a little bit about what I call the shadow beings. I remember when I first discovered them, I was doing a clearing on someone. It was a woman. And I saw these. It was like literally shadows. They looked like shadows. And it's like, what are these doing here? And I knew I didn't recognize them from our time and space. So it was, I started tuning in, I discovered these are not good guys. These are not the good guys. <laughs> I mean, there's things that come from other time space dimensions that slip through that aren't bad, okay? And the shadow beings are not good. They're not good. They, are, they will cause havoc. They will disrupt your life. They will cause harm. They, it, they, it's almost like when they get inside of the body, which they do, they can cause people to get, go into depression. They can cause people to, you know, just act like kind of weird behaviors, um, when you, when the shadow beings, when I feel, when I've tuned into them and also when I've worked with them to help release them out of our time space, sending them back to where they belong, they are very disruptive. It's not, I don't know how to, it's not like they have this anger or hatred, but there's an energy and an a, um, abrasive and intense energy and bully kind of energy, powerful energy, knock you around kind of energy, not caring about you kind of energy. You're, you know what I mean? Like uh, when they come here, it's a completely different experience than their own reality. And so when they come here, it's like, a, uh, um, like, whoa, a candy store of things to cause problems with, or, or, you know, see what, see what kind of damage can be done, see what kind of harm you can get to somebody, you know, when they're in your body. So they'll come in, you know, just depending on what your beliefs are. So some people have beliefs, I deserve to be punished, I deserve to suffer, I'm not good enough, I'm not worthy, you know, feelings like, um, like when we've done things in the past, we have regret, those kind of energies or darker energies, the shadow beings can attach to and come right into the body. Okay. So we don't want these in us and we don't want any beings inside of us. And, you know, everybody's got some kind of wounding. So you're not going to get away from that. You're not going to stop it unless you do your healing work and unravel these places within. Then you'll be ensured that you're not going to attract shadow beings or any other kind of beings. So with the, when you're, um, you know, in our world and our life, just living and, and experience our lives, things will slip into us because we really have not not cleared up we not stopped those agreements we haven't ended the agreements where that we've made as a soul that allows things to come into our body this is this has been how we played out how we did our soul dances most for many many you know hundreds of millions of years of lifetimes of, of years and now it's like we're discovering with the new paradigm we don't want other things inside of us now the shadow beings they come through the veils. Like right now, they'll, like this is that time of year when they'll start coming through the veils. But sometimes there's piercings or tears for different reasons, and then they slip through, and they come into our energy field. They come into this realm, this dimension. And sometimes, you know, I can still see them floating around, but they do like to go inside of people's bodies because when they go in, they have more control, more power over that that being, you know? So think about this. Truly, in their dimension, they're shadowy. They're not like really dense energy. They're shadow energy, shadow looking beings. And so when they come in here and they come into the physical body, not that they're actually feeling the energy because they're not the body, but in somehow, some way, it's like when we get inside of a, let's just say we actually got into like a robot or something, okay? So we're in the robot and now we're controlling that robot you know, pushing this gears forward, this gear back, or turning here, whatever, make that arm reach out. We're just controlling that robot, okay? So in a sense, when these shadow beings come in, especially if they become full body, like really try to take over the body, you'll be doing things that you normally wouldn't be doing. Your behaviors will change, your your actions, your thoughts, but, it, but they really mess up your life, they mess up your world, and they block you from you know, creating good things, okay? They, they bring more negativity. They bring more trauma. They bring more distress, okay? They, they more And more stress. And, you know, it creates all this emotional energy because they like that energy frequency of all the emotion, okay? So when we're distressed or worried or traumatized, 
they're, we're always in angst. Well, those shadow beings are, you know, that energy, they're just like freak, feeling, feeding off of that frequency of us. So we don't want them in our bodies. And uh, an important piece as well with, with anything is, you know, we really need to stop letting things come in. So you need to make sure you release agreements and contracts where you're no longer willing to do that. But also you need to make sure that you're claiming yourself, but you're also claiming your energy field and you're making it really clear. You know, every once in a while, you might just want to echo out throughout your whole time, your space, your room, your house, your property, your car, your work, wherever you live. Nothing's allowed in here. No, no, nobody belongs here. No shadow beings. Because when you start labeling it, like if you know they're shadow beings, they don't, they don't like to be known. They're kind of like, they like, like shadow. They want to be none, unknown, they hide out in the shadows, okay? So if you even suspect that there's any shadow beings, you know, you just make it really, really clear. No shadow beings are allowed here. I know you're here. I can feel you. Get out. Go away. You're not wanted. Be gone. Be gone. And you can do that with anybody, actually, okay? But for, for the shadow beings, they, like, again, they like to be that hidden, so they come in from behind you kind of deal when you're not noticing, not feeling, not aware. And so when you when you just tell them, you know, not loud here, get out, they, they go hide, they'll go hide somewhere else. They'll go somewhere else, okay? Or maybe even tell them, go back to your own time and space. So, you know, tell them, find the portal, find your tear, find the gateway and go home. You don't belong here, okay? So these shadow beings, you know, they're, they can... You know, here they are. I can see them. See, I'm talking about them. And already I can see a bunch of them like out there. They won't come close. They know better. <laughs> but they do. It's like they're coming because like they can feel me talking about them. So I just like, no, I'll just open up the space. I'll open up the veils and then send them right out, out, out. Be gone, be gone. Send them back all the way through. So when I pull them out of the body, like when something in the shadow. So what I'll do is I'll feel the frequency the veil or wherever the stargate is or portal or whatever that is. And when I'm going to release them and send them back, what I'll do is I'll bring that and just open that energy up. Like let's just say there's a barrier. And so I'll open the energy so they can pass through. Okay. Pass through back, go back to their own time, space, dimension. And I'll put it right close to the body. And then I'll have the shadow beans just slide right on out and go right into that dimension and go back home where they belong, get them out of the body. They don't belong there. Also, we can use the white flame just so you know, there's things you can do if you suspect you got shadow beings in you. Like if you're finding yourself in an angst or think like maybe your life was pretty good and then something happened and then you don't have any, what, what happened? Why, why all of a sudden is this, you know, negativity is happening and I, I'm, I'm angst. I feel trauma. I, you know, it's like, I'm not happy. Nothing's working. Everything, I'm not succeeding, and I was doing well before. Hmm, could be shadow being, okay? So what you're going to do is, you know, just you're going to ask, okay? Because asking, ask for the, the, the which, we'll use a star the, uh, portal. We'll use the portal. You're just going to ask for the portal, not open yet, but you're going to ask for the portal that's going to let these shadow beings go back home to their own time, space, dimension, okay? Then you're going to use that white flame. You're going to call forth the white flame. Anybody can do this, all right? We got it. We've got the power. So you're going to take that white flame from the very bottom of your feet. You're going to let that white flame start coming up through your body and down, also down from the crown chakra. So you're meeting that white flame is coming together like this. So it's coming down. And then you're going to push the energy out right into that portal. Open, the, open that portal now. Make that hole. Just, have, just command it. Ask it. Request it. And it will happen. And then you're going to let those energies come right out using that white flame to literally get them out of your body. They don't like the light. They don't like that white flame. Okay. So just burning bright, hot, white flame, Holy Spirit coming through, pushing these shadow beings back, back, back to their own time, space, dimension, right through that portal, all the way through, out of the body and all the way gone, gone, gone. And then close that portal and be done. Okay. So, you can get them out of your body. You'll feel lighter, freer, something different will happen. And, you know, sometimes too, there might be other creatures in there that need to go back. So, so sometimes when you do that, you're going to feel, whoa, I just, I feel lighter. Something feels different. This is good. Okay. So get those shadow beans out. Now, if you're dealing with shadow beans or you're sensing shadow beans in your space, feeling them, again, they can hear you. Let them know you don't belong here. You need to leave. 
Go back to your own time and space. I'm going to help you. Here's the portal. Go through here. Opening, opening, opening. And again, you can use the white flame. The white flame will get as big as it needs to get. Okay? It can get as big as the world. It can get as, doesn't, there's no limit to how large the, the white flame can get. Okay? So you're going to use that white flame. And you're just going to start gathering, pushing them, sending them right back through that portal and close that portal. Get them out of your energy field. Get them out of your space. These guys don't belong here. They're negative. They're bad news. They're hurtful. They're harmful. They're undermining. And they're dangerous. Okay? They mess people up. And it's not a good thing. So we do not want shadow beings here. They don't belong here. If you're sensing them, you now know what to do. Okay? Again, shine your light. They don't like the light. Okay? You know, everyone's got light in the very core. In the very core of you, you have that light. Let's just do that really quickly, okay? It's taking your awareness, so just close your eyes, feeling your consciousness behind your eyes, you know? Now, bring your awareness and come right down to your chest with a heart chakra, okay? Just as though you're bringing your awareness, bringing your eyes to this part of your body, looking out into the world, okay? Just really play with that, looking out from your heart chakra. Now, what you're going to do is you're going to take your awareness and go right deeper, 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 like falling deeper into your own core. And you're going to go deep until you find a beautiful white light. Everyone has it. I don't care how small or big it is. You got it. Take your awareness, go right into that light. So that now you are entering that light. You are that light. You All you can see is that light. That's you. That's the frequency of pure love and light, unconditional love and light. Now, you can expand that because it is you. It is the absolute you. It is the truth of who you are. Expand that brighter, brighter, brighter. Expand it all the way. Get bright, bright, bright. Expand it out through your entire body. Expand it out through your org field. They, these guys will not be coming into your body okay? when you're shining your light. So this is a way you can also make sure they're not in you, in your space, in your org field. You get them out, and then you can also send them back home. Okay, so now you have the know-how, the ability to shine your own light, feeling your own light and expanding it so that you can push out energy frequencies like the shadow beings that don't belong here. All right, so now you are empowered in a way to uh, make yourself feel you know, safer, more confident, and knowing that, yep, I am a divine being. And the very core of me is pure love and light. And when I expand that energy, no shadow beings are going to be inside of me anymore. All right. Have fun with this one.